Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank and today we are checking out Sennheiser microphones and working with them on the Canon C300 Mark II. The first mic we're going to take a look at is this one, it's the MKE600. This is a unique design in that it's a, what I like to think of as an all-inclusive microphone. In order to understand that, let me take it out of the stand here. The top section of this is the microphone section. The bottom section here is how we First of all, connect to our camera using a professional three pin XLR. But this section here unscrews and underneath of here is a double A battery. So this microphone will work with a camera like the C300, for example, that can supply phantom 48 volt power. It'll also work with your DSLR that cannot supply power to the microphone. So the way to think about this is you invest one time in this uh, very high quality professional shotgun mic and it will work with the full gamut of different cameras that you might encounter. Let me close this section back up here and we'll talk about this top section. Here I have an on off switch because I have the uh, battery in it. When I flip the switch up here, you're going to see a red diode turn on and that tells me what the battery status is. That momentary lighting up of the diode indicates that the uh, battery in here is in good status and I should get a good long run time out of this battery. Just above that is a uh, filter that I can engage and that will help take out low frequency rumble. So in order to uh, get an idea of what this mic sounds like. Went into the rental area, saw my friend Gabriel, uh, and just caught a couple seconds Verte style of him working on uh, some rental reservations. Hello, this is Gabriel and Rentals. I can help you. Let's see if I can find it here. Gabriel and Rentals, I can help you. Yeah, it looks like there's a hold in here. For... And they're coming back. You said it's on Wednesday. Is it just one day, just Wednesday to Friday? Alexa mini package. Does that seem right? I got him. I will send you over a quote in just a second. When I can type faster than the computer can put the letters in and I'm a really slow typer, you know it's bad, right? Let's see what we got. Do you need an EF or PL mount? All right, no problem. See ya. Bye. Here's the configuration that I used for that footage. I have it mounted directly into the C300 onto the mic holder right here. And this uh, MKE 600 comes with a standard professional XLR3 connector, so it can connect right in here to the module on the C300. Yeah, it's a very affordable professional shotgun microphone. This microphone can easily migrate through all generations of cameras uh, that you might encounter in your career. Here is the ME series of microphones from Sennheiser. This is an ME64. Now let's take this off the stand. We'll take a look at how this is uh, constructed. The ME series is comprised of a series of microphone capsules. This is the capsule. This is the ME64. And the way to distinguish one capsule from another is by its number. The lower the number, the wider the pickup pattern. So ME62 is an omnidirectional. The ME64 is a little more directional. And the ME66 is a shotgun style of microphone. Now, instead of having a power supply built into it, you have a choice. And that's where the K uh, line of uh, power supplies comes into play. This is a K6P, which denotes phantom power. So for instance, I could get phantom power from my C300 here, power up this microphone. Alternatively, I could use the K6 here, which has the AA battery in it. So this will allow me to use this in any situation, whether it be phantom or uh, if I need to power the microphone with the battery because the camera is not capable of supplying that power. So it's simply a matter of joining these two together in whichever combination is appropriate. And it has the switches uh, that we saw on the MKE series. So we have the on off and then we have the uh, filter here for low frequency. Now the nice thing about the ME series is that these uh, capsules are very competitively priced. So it's very uh, conceivable to have one power supply and to have the different capsules that you need for your different shooting situations. So it affords you very high quality audio, professional audio at very competitive price. And at the same time, it gives you the convenience of being able to just switch up very quickly different capsules for different applications and only have to pay for one power source. So I took the ME64 into the rental area, uh, saw Gabriel, and I got a couple seconds of Verite footage with him using this, uh, having him do some rental reservations. So let's take a look and hear what it sounds like. Hello, this is Gabriel and Rentals. I can help you. This is Gabriel and Rentals. I can help you. Uh, and those are all four by five, yeah? 
Yeah, we carry those. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we've got that would probably work really well for that is, I'm gonna say some of them have a direction button and other ones don't. It just depends on like that particular micro force. Yeah, sure. What's your email address? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, do you know, is it, does it say like MFZC1 or whatever, like Microforce 1 or whatever it is? Sure. I'll send you over a quote in just a minute. All right. See ya. Bye. That wraps up my look at Sennheiser MKE and ME series microphones. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.